I don't know if there's anything that taught me more about love than having a child. I didn't want children. I didn't want to have children. It isn't that we hated them, it's just that we met one. We went to a house to eat. They sat me next to a one-and-a-half-year-old child to eat. That's got to be one of the grossest experiences in all of life. Do any of you have little brothers or sisters? This kid picked up a pea and spoke to it in a language I did not understand. All of the phonetics was there, but no words. You know what I'm talking about? They have no words, but it sounds right. Gooby nude, agambe, sinigo bol, lubinangange. Diane, my wife, understood this language. They used to come to her and go, Labby, nor de busekembe. And she would say, You better not. <laughs> then this child smashed the pea. And you could see by the disgusted look on his face that he didn't know what to do with this. It was, it was gross. It was all of those words you guys use. It was icky. And so he hid it in this ear. <laughs> I'm trying to eat a steak. The kid has 15 peas draining out of his right ear. He got jello, clear up to his armpits. Then he got friendly with me. I whispered to him, you touch me, I'll drop kick you. <laughs> On the way home, I looked over at my wife, Diane. She was quietly rubbing food stains from her dress. I said, sweetheart, I don't ever want to have children. I don't want to have children. Through clenched teeth, she said, neither do I. A couple of months later, we went to the doctor. <laughs> no, you're way ahead of me here. <laughs> you need to back off a little bit. We went to the doctor, and the doctor told us, after an examination, he said that we were incapable of having children. I remember sitting in the office across from him, and he said, it is physically impossible for you to have children. And God sat right up on his throne. He loves the word impossible. I have two children. We named the first one physically. <laughs> Second one married Scott Fowler. She's impossible. 